The collectors. The collectors are another common science fiction concept. These are the aliens that want all the knowledge in the galaxy. They want to collect one of everything. As the collectors, your bonus is the Museum of Time. The first time you destroy an enemy of a unique color or shape, you take it. So, for example, this is the first time you've killed a green cruiser. You take it and you put it in your pool. You've collected it. Then later on, you destroy a blue star base. Hey, let's collect that too and put that in our pool. The other guy doesn't get it back. Now, the other guy can get it back by rebuilding it if he pays you a hyper token first. But in general, you're trying to collect these things and usually they don't want to get it back until they're desperate, so you get to accumulate them. Your victory ability is the destiny track, and that advances when you have a certain number of collected units. So the more you collect, the, the more benefits you get. Your weakness is that you are obsessed with collecting. If the enemy has ships that you haven't or units that you haven't collected you must apply all of your attacks to those units until you've collected them so if they have a unit that you can't even kill because you haven't but you but you you know you haven't collected it that's what you got to attack so that's awkward also you don't collect them by damaging them you have to destroy them their technologies are enthusiast and apotheosis the apotheosis ability is a one-use ability which you flip face down and then you return all your collected units and you reset the destiny track to the start so you can get those those bonuses again so you can recollect them the enthusiast ability is kind of an odd one but when you think about it let's see how good it is it lets you build an opponent's units as an extra action so for example i could say and you pl you it's placed as though they built it but you pick where so you can say oh i'm going to build your star base here why would you do that, you ask? Well, there's a couple reasons. One is to benefit that player in some way, to reward him or to bribe him. The other is to put it in a place where you can attack and collect it. Their super ship, the Athenaeum, is a regular ship that costs one less metal per each unit you've collected. So, for example, if you've collected four units, its cost is zero. If you've collected six units, its cost is negative two. That means you gain two metal for building your super ship. So you really don't mind these things being killed because it gives you more and more money as you go on.